Today, let's do a quick overview of our proactive messages. Proactive messages are automated messages that are triggered by events and will be displayed over the minimize widget on your website. In order for you to create and modify proactive messages, you will need to have an owner or administrator role. So let's go take a look at our proactive messages. Go to the workspace editor, down to platform integrations, and select your current configuration. So here down below, we have a list of our proactive messages that we have in place. And we could delete proactive messages. And if we click save, they will be permanently deleted. Uh, but we give you a chance to revert your decision if you wish. We can modify our proactive messages if we choose to add another rule or preview our message. But if I wanted to create a proactive message, I can click add message. We can label our message, add the content and select an event. If I wanted this message to be about a returning user on our home page, then I would label this returning user home page. Let's take a look at our different events that we have in place. So page URL, we can actually choose where we want our message to be displayed on your website. So it contains, you would add the URL in here. It does not contain, maybe you don't want this message to apply to one page. We can also choose the returning user. So if this is a new user, we would choose false. If this is a returning user, we would choose true. If we wanted to select scroll position, maybe there's a particular section on your website halfway down the page that you would like to trigger a message. Maybe you would want to put 50%. You could change this by pixels if you wish. You can also choose time elapsed is. This is a common event and you can select five seconds. I personally would not choose anything over 30, but every situation is different. So this will display the message after five seconds. We can also choose device. So this would be a good way to exclude a message on a particular device. So maybe you don't want a proactive message for mobile users. So you would use tablet and desktop so that the message will be displayed on these, but not on this one. We can also choose the time of day. So if you had an event going on from two to four, you would select your two o'clock and add another rule, time of day ends at four o'clock. We can also choose date begins, and this works similarly to the time of day. You would choose a date on when you want this message to start triggering. If this was a retail store of some kind, maybe I have a sale going on for a week, so I'd want to start with date begin and add another event for date ends. Referring URL, so this is if you had any Google ads or if you had people coming from your Facebook page, anything with a referring URL you would add in here so you can continue the flow onto your website. Only during business hours, so maybe you only want to display a message during business hours, or you can select false so that you could trigger a message outside of your business hours. And of course, you can always add multiple events. So if they're a returning user, add time elapsed, and scroll position exceeds 50%. So that covers the events. We have more options here. Reset dismiss message after one minute. We could choose to change this for a longer period of time. The most common ones people use is either a minute or an hour. And this means when a message is displayed, and a customer clicks the little X button to hide the proactive message, we will wait this amount of time before displaying it again. And if you wish to disable the sound effect, you can uncheck this box or keep it checked. When you're happy with your message, click save. You will see another message in your list.